Hi, this is Dr. Chris Doherty here. We're covering the use of the CMI or collagen meniscus implant by IV Sports Medicine for meniscal defects. This patient had previously had a cartilage grafting procedure on his medial femoral condyle but had volume loss of his medial meniscus. He continued to experience pain and with his volume loss we felt it best to go ahead and replace that volume loss with his medial meniscus. Here you can see our CMI implant in place. Initially we were measuring our defect and then freshening our edges and now we have our implant in position that we shuttled into the knee. This is a fast fix 360 device. This is what's known as a meniscal fixator device. This allows you to penetrate through the CMI implant, deploy a small plastic T on the back side of the capsule, and then deploy a secondary T. This tissue is very, very friable. You have to be careful when you're placing it. Once you've placed your two sides of your implant, you want to bring your probe in and allow the probe to provide the counter traction for the suture to slide around. Otherwise, when you're pulling tension on your device, you'll cut right through your meniscal implant. Once we've got it under tension, we're just trying to approximate. We're not trying to strangulate. We'll move back over to this posterior horn. Here I am using a Novo Stitch Plus for this posterior horn to allow me to get a better angle as I don't want to have a meniscal implant sitting out the back side of the meniscus in an intra-articular position. So I'll go ahead and pass over, get around that posterior horn, and then pass through the implant. Again, I encourage you to exert caution utilizing this device for this implant as the Novo Stitch has a higher traction on the sutures and could lead to cutout of the CMI implant. It is possible, but you have to be technically excellent with the device. So once we've got that posterior horn secured down quite nicely, and you can see the extent of our implant, you'll see we go ahead and tie this knot. And I've got markings roughly every 8 millimeters on the CMI implant. This is where I'm going to place my additional 360s. And once we get this up against the capsule, again, it's approximation. We've got excellent volume replacement with our CMI implant.